Adobe FrameMaker Feature Spotlight, all new HTML output engine. Rewritten from the ground up, the engine in FrameMaker's Publish Pod is faster than ever, more intuitive, and supports the latest web technologies. Now, you can set up and process your projects faster than ever. For instance, the style mapping options load roughly twice as fast as in previous versions. And the mapping of styles is more direct, allowing you to specify the exact HTML elements you want used for each style. And the actual time to publish is faster because under the hood, we've eliminated entire sections of conversions that occurred previously. But fast is only good if you can maintain quality. And FrameMaker does that by faithfully passing your Scalable Vector Graphics, or SVG, into the published output for high quality viewing and output wherever you need it. Here, I'll publish this file as a mobile-friendly project and then view the output. Using the Inspect function within Chrome, Here's my H1 element, as I specified in the mapping. A little lower on the page is one of my placed SVG files. Using inspect to jump to the code, we can see that the SVG element has been called out, and there's a reference to the actual SVG file that's been embedded. Because it's an SVG, that means I can zoom in on this graphic while still maintaining quality. Not familiar yet with SVG? Not to worry. SVG is one of the formats directly supported by Adobe Illustrator. So if you can use Save As in Illustrator, you can produce SVG for your FrameMaker projects. FrameMaker will process text callouts and FrameMaker produced graphics objects into SVG as well. And if that's not enough, FrameMaker also supports the latest CSS3 standards like pseudoclass indicators making it easier to carry complex auto-numbering and prefixing for things like warning notes and cautions through to your output. So why is this a big deal? Because it means you can continue to focus on creating great, high-quality content, while FrameMaker will continue to faithfully and quickly produce what you need for your audience. For a personalized demo or questions, please write to us at techcom at adobe.com.